and welcome to another little tutorial. This time I'm going to be in my creative world and I'm just going to show you through how to set up the um, milling station and the um, things that are associated with that. Uh, this is, as I said, my creative world and as you can see this is where I sort of tested out some different builds for the cranes and stuff. Um, but over here that I had hidden away is the setup for the windmill and the one thing I have found so far is that this needs to be an empty block or it needs to be in the middle of your building and I'm, I'll take you into my um, survival world shortly after this and just show you uh, how I've set up the windmill there so basically once you've got all your parts built so you research first and then um, build the parts. It's quite easy a matter of just putting them together. The tricky part is having a look at uh, the different types of uh, structures that there are. So the first one is these mechanical splits. So you've got uh, vertical, you've got um, a vertical split going up you've got a, mecha a vertical split which just goes straight through the middle and you've got a horizontal one that goes straight through the middle that way then you have these shafts which you can use to join I'll show you that in a sec and some angles to be able to go up down left right etc <coughs> the windmill itself and the two components that you actually attach to it at the moment one is the grist mill and that's used for grinding up your uh, flax and also your fl um, wheat and the mechanical sawmill thank you Mr. Deer a mechanical sawmill which I'll show you through the parts on that um, really really handy this increases the output uh, tremendously for your timbers and planks um, and it's also automated so you can just sort of set it going and forget about it so let's have a look first off. Um, what I've done here is I've put a straight through with a angle to the, I think it's the right on this one. Then I've connected a 90 degree shaft. Then I have a blank shaft. Another 90 degree, which you just rotate the normal way that you um, would rotate things another shaft here coming down to the bottom and when you connect them up the other way bring them out through a 90 degree angle down into another 90 degree angle to come across to the sawmill so the sawmill if we have a look in there if you scroll down the bottom here you'll see there's a tool head and there's two tool heads that you can have there is this one here which does planks and there's this one here which does timbers and you just take them out and put in the one that you want in the actual spot you can see that the graphic actually changes there by putting tim uh, sorry by putting logs into your input you will get timbers if you're using this um, head so the the um, timber head and if you want to change that just shift left click and drag the other one in and that now gives us four blades which will cut the planks from both timbers and from the logs so that's how you set that up if you want to put the other piece um, of apparatus if we go to our G <coughs> and we bring up the grist mill, pop that down there, we put that like so. Let's get rid of the out of my hand, and that sits there like that. Now, one thing you will notice everything has stopped, the shafts are no longer turning, the windmill itself is no longer turning and that is because there is only a certain amount of power generated by um, this windmill 
so you can have one uh, piece of apparatus on it at a time so if I just go and we get rid of that you'll see now that everything started up again and if we come over here and we go into F to have a look in here these are the uh, tool heads for the grist mill the first one is a we've got one here no I haven't okay there's two there's this one which is the smooth tool head and the other one which is a rough tool head a small tool smooth tool head is used for your flax the rough is used for your wheat and that will grind up into flour which you then bake into your bread so now that we've added that you can see that's just slowly turning there and we go into our input and we would put if I had thought about this beforehand and had everything prepared we would put um, our wheat in here and that would grind it up um, let's just see if we can get some wheat I don't think I can actually oh yeah so I'll just put um, no, I won't. I'll just uh, shift double click and F and we'll put that into there and in fact we'll put all of that into there I'll just watch that for a sec so that's now grinding that up and see it's still turning in the back there oh, I've got the small tool head that's not going to work with that one let's have another go at that as radio said things always go according to plan uh, that's the rough one of course sorry not rough F and down here take that one out small and coarse put that one in there back in and here we go so it'll do five wheat creates one bag of uh, one sack of flour and then that'll just sit there now until we get three more in there so that's how that works um, they're fairly straightforward and it's um, just a matter of thinking about how you're going to connect stuff up this does need to be uh, five, I think from memory, above ground. So one, two, three for the center. Oh no, four above ground, sorry. And you could possibly get away with it with three maybe even. Looking at that, because that's the third one there. So you give it a go with three and see how you go. All right, um, I'm going to pause now and we'll go into my survival world and I will just show you how I've put the, um, the windmill together in survival. Okay, welcome back. And we're in my survival world now. You recognize this is where I built the crane for radio here and the mill behind it. So as you can see, I've done... Um, five high now if my memory serves correct the actual quest that you do to open up the windmill says to make the building five high uh, I can't quite remember but I think that's what it was but looking at that I would say you could probably get away with well four maybe three uh, however let's go inside and have a look and we'll just see how things have sort of all come together Right, so in the centre I have the uh, grist mill, I've got the coarse one on there and I just have a little box over here that I keep my, um, my uh, heads in of the tools and as I said you grind up your flax seeds to get the linseed oil uh, with the fine one. So going upstairs the wind 
windmill's actually connected in. Um, straight through and then down using the uh, verticals or the 90 degree angle, then a vertical, then another vertical, and then a 90 degree split here. This is a, a two way split, so that's going straight down and out. And what I've done is I've put my uh, sawmill out here on the uh, outside of the building. And primarily that's so that with the setup that I've got as far as the cranes and things are concerned, I can come up here, lift, every, lift my logs up with the crane, pop them into here, open that up, take the logs out, put them into here, like so, and this will start creating, as you can see here, the uh, timbers. Now if I need to change the head, um, as yet I haven't got a, um, another head made to do the, the planks, but all I need to do is just change the head in here, scroll down a bit, take that one out, put the other one in, and I can make planks. Um, I didn't need planks to um, to build the the crane for oh um, crane for radio. See, I fall off things too, radio. And up the top, and then I can just from here grab out of there and put them straight into my log stock pile. Then from there, if you quick, you can come around the corner. I can take all of the uh, timbers out of there and store them in my timber holder which is now full. So I hope that helps. If you've got any questions or anything about uh, how to put it all together please let me know um, in the comments down below and I will attempt to answer them. Uh, it's pretty straightforward so now, if you just stop and think about what it is you're trying to do, um, you should be able to get things to go. The tricky part's really the 90 degrees and the 90 degree splits and those sorts of things. Uh, just trying to work out which one you actually need to do what it is that you need to do. Alright, um, hope that's helped. If it has, uh, I'd appreciate a like. Um, welcome to those of you that are new to the channel. Uh, I know Radio's been mentioning me occasionally um, in his videos, and that's much appreciated. So I hope you're all enjoying his uh, series as much as I am, um, and I just try and help out a little bit with some of the, the more mechanical type stuff, which um, isn't Radio's forte. He's, uh, he's definitely a brilliant designer, as you can tell my, my box here. Um, I build squares. So thanks for popping by. I hope that's helped. As I said, any questions, just leave them down below and I'll get back to you as quick as I can. Cheers for now. Bye.